Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be covering the loading view control coming from the UNO Toolkit library. Now, previously we've talked about the extended splash screen control coming from Toolkit. And so the extended splash screen is actually built on top of loading view, but loading view itself is a very useful control. Uh, in and of itself, the loading view is basically a control that allows you to display different content within its container, depending on the state of a an eye loadable that you give it as its source. So any long running operation or any tasks, tasks that you want to have running in the background, you can as assign it to the source of this loading view and the content will display the loading content while that source is currently running and it'll automatically observe that and switch back to your main content whenever it's, it's completed. Um, so it's very useful for a number of situations. And the holy grail basically of the loading view is this eye loadable, right? So iLoadable is, is an interface that comes from Toolkit that as, as long as you implement the is executing and is executing changed uh, uh, properties and events of this interface, um, you can assign anything you want to the source of your loading view as long as it implements these and uh, loading view takes care of the rest, right? So let's take a quick look at some code. Now to get all set up, uh, make sure you you go back and you uh, look at uh, getting started with the with the uh, Uno Toolkit library. That'll get you all set up with the the NuGet packages and everything you need uh, loaded up into your app. And so the first thing that we're going to see in our main page is we're going to have this loading view. Let me just zoom out a little. We're going to have this loading view. Ooh, uh, right here from our uno toolkit and you'll see the source is actually bound to the same command that i have bound to my button right so as long as this command is in a running state and currently ongoing my loading view will actually display my loading content here uh, and while that command is has finished or completed or aired out or whatever um, it'll go back and show the main content that is that your uh, loading view is displaying right uh, by default so by default, we should see our sort of a red background with this text called content. And while my, my command is running, we should see a progress ring going with this my command is running um, sort of text, right? So if we go to a WebAssembly app that is running this application right now, you'll see nothing too special here. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. It's just normal content that's being displayed for the loading view. Now, once I fire off this command, it runs for three seconds. And it completes and it reshows your main content that you want to show within your loading view. Now, if we just quickly jump over to the view model that I've bound for my data context, um, just to give an idea of how you could do this with commands. Basically, right now I'm using the the MVVM toolkit coming from um, the community toolkit, right, from Microsoft. So I have my uh, main view model, which is my observable object. And I have this loadable command that I created. And loadable command basically just takes an async relay command that's coming from the MVVM toolkit and wraps it um, uh, using the iLoadable interface, right? So uh, basically all I'm doing here is we pass in the async relay command and I hook up to its its different properties to in order to shoot off the or, or implement the properties coming from iLoadable. So is executing change and is executing, right? Um, and that's all I have to do. So as long as the command is reporting the proper status of, of whether it's running or not, um, the loading view will take care of the rest and display that loading content. Um, and that's basically it. That's that's the building block of the extended splash screen. So go check that video out if you haven't already. This is loading view on its own. So you could definitely go build some cool stuff with it. That's some cool state machines, something cool like that. Um, but uh, go check out the documentation. Uh, if you want to have more Tech Byte videos, make sure you're subscribed to get notified and build something cool with it. So hope you learned something. I'll catch you in the next one.